Have you ever heard of the video game Sinkhole for the Atari 2600? I'm not familiar with that game. I mean, it was made in 1983 right as the whole video game industry was collapsing. There were like 10,000 copies made. Nice. How'd you hear about it? Uh, I was on this Discord server hanging out. We were talking about retro video games and like the glitches that happen. Oh, like the one where like, like Donkey Kong looks like he's riding himself? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know that one, but uh -huh. anyway, this guy started talking about Sinkhole. He's playing the game one time and he managed to clip through a wall and he hmm. saw something that he'd never seen before, something he couldn't put into words. Did he get a screenshot? Well, I messaged him, but he didn't respond, and then I never saw him on the server again. But I managed to recreate the glitch myself. Oh, boy. Yeah, here, check it out. Let me pull up Stella. Stella, who's Stella? Stella's an emulator. Nice. So the game consists of a guy just falling endlessly down a pit. You can't really win the game. You see how deep you can go. One of the cool things about it is it's completely randomly generated. So every time you play it, it's a new experience. A lot of games did that back then because you can only fit so much level data on like 4K of ROM, so just make it up as you go. Anyway, every once in a while, some part of the algorithm messes up and creates a section of the pit that's impossible to pass through. Huh. But I found that if you hit the button on exactly the right frame, this happens. It's Perlin noise. Pearl of noise, like from Tron. Yeah? Huh. Look, regular noise is made up of completely different values that have nothing to do with each other. Huh? But with Pearl of noise, each value is a slight deviation from the last, producing a smooth contour like this. That's probably the logic that they use to generate the layout of, of the bottomless pit. No, I think this is deliberate. I think this is this is an Easter egg or like a hidden message. And I think we can be the <laughs> ones that decode it. No, it just appears deliberate because Perlin noise mirrors patterns found in nature. Are you telling me you're one of those people that only takes things for face value? You never look deeper to see what's no, going on? I wouldn't say that. I just think that this pattern was produced by a bug. In the 1980s, a bug is like way more common than some sort of hidden Easter egg. I mean, it's like what they say, if you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. There's so much beauty and mystery in this world and you immediately jump to the most mundane conclusion. I wouldn't say it's mundane. I mean, I think it's, it's amazing that a simple computing error could produce such an elaborate result, but, but we could spend our entire lives trying to figure out what's going on under the hood and we would only begin to see the bigger picture. But there's more to this than you understand. Martin Bennis, the guy who developed this game, working on video games was just his side hustle. In 1983, he was working with the Department of Defense studying gravitational waves. One day he calls his wife up, tells her he's made an earth-shattering discovery, then he's never heard from again. So what does that have to do with... I think the truth of his discovery is hidden in this game. I don't know, man. I... Tim, I've put so much of myself into this. I could really use your help figuring this out, man. Sorry, friend, I don't think I can follow you down this rabbit hole. 